Stop me if you heard this one. A comedian walks into a gun store. Hey, did you know you can watch all our shows using the TYT app? Just go to tyt.com slash app. See, we made it easy for you. Sasha Baron Cohen, you know him from the Borat stuff, and uh, he has a new show out on uh, Showtime that's called Who is America? Now there is a uh, owner of a gun store in Riverside, California, who saw someone come into his store a while back and had some suspicions that it might not be who they let on. Take a look. I want to buy a gun, like that, talking like that. And I just kept looking at the guy and I was like, you're Borat. Soon as I said that, his eyes just looked at me like, and he did a B turn right out the door. So what do you do when uh, you you know you suspect that this person might be Borat? He explains what what happened next. Once I knew it was Borat, we already know his game and his. <laughs> so we knew that he's here to make a mockery and make a mockery of what gun owners, the gun business, gun shops. He says it's clear his store was meant to be part of a segment in Cohen's new program on Showtime called Who Is America. And then you got some gun advocate holding a bunny on a gun. If you're a gun advocate, what the are you doing holding a gun with a bunny on it? Really? I think more guns should have bunnies on yeah. them. Take the Super. stigma away. What do you think? No. I mean, I, I think it's it's the guy can tap, you know, pat himself on the back that he recognized him, but yeah, that's what happens. I'm sure I'm sure he's not the first one where they had to stop the shooting. It, not shooting, shooting, I mean the filming. Yeah. Because um, you know, I've done undercover shows sometimes, and I wasn't as well known as I am now, not that I am, but uh, and occasionally someone would be like, wait, I know you, you know, and it's a hidden camera kind of thing. So what'd uh, you do? Then that was it. You can't, you know, you move on to the next person that doesn't know you, which is always where I kind of wonder about those shows, like the one on True TV with the four guys. Right, I'm impractical like, jokers. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. we watch that show all the time with my sons. Like, how do they, how do regular people not know that's happening? I think sometimes people do, just like what would you do with yeah. John Quinones? And they just go along with it because yeah. even sometimes they do it, they're like, I knew it. Yeah, I'm I like, knew we'll it take was that. Show. Yeah, I'm like, we'll take out that part, loser. I'm, I'm like, so, so mad though. Go ahead. No, I also think that, like, as perhaps one of the most high profile pranksters with yes. Sasha right. Baron Cohen, I have been pretty underwhelmed by the disguises that they've been rolling yes. out. Yes. Like I thought the disguise that we saw for who is America the gun thing, I thought it was so obvious that he was heavily disguised. And I think before when he was doing Borat, when he was doing Bruno arguably, Ali G, that he wasn't as recognizable right. of a we face. Right, we didn't know who yeah. he was. Right, yes. and so he, it, it, he didn't have to have as many disguises. Now we all know his face, we know who Sasha Baron Cohen is. is. So the disguises are mm -hmm. insane, like he looked like a member of ZZ Top. And uh, I think any gun owner or gun shop owner would have been a little suspicious. And the, and the voice too is very recognizable. He's done amazing disguises, but none of, these ones seem like a little over the I, top. I have a little inside scoop about this show coming oh, out. bring it. Okay, I'm not gonna say, who the people were that told me. But I have personal friends that were told they were gonna be on a show. <laughs> and it was, I forgot the scenario. Well, I wouldn't tell anyone because I don't want to ruin it for the show, but after it airs, I'll have them come on. But it turned out to be like a really kind of frightening situation for them. They were, they were like, what the heck is going on here? And and they were really honestly scared about it. Wow. So it's yeah. like, they they're, each scenario is different. And they touch on all different things. You know, the Sarah Palin one, she mm -hmm. she was really pissed about that. So it's just, it's all, the the point is making fun of America, so the I, whole thing, I so. Know, yeah, I know at the, the early Ali G shows, they all of the times he said, hey, I'm a real person, they pointed people to a website, and that and the websites all look the same, regardless if it was like Borat or Ali G or mm -hmm. Bruno. Um, and so, yeah, he has had to up it. But that just makes it so much more impressive when it actually works. Like all the NRA right. ones from that initial video that came out, the, the, the description of what happened from the people who were duped afterwards, do not let them off the hook at all. One of the former lawmakers was like, well, you have to understand, they flew me out to DC. <laughs> yes. They put me in a four star hotel. What am I supposed to do? Not read the prompter when they tell me that I should be, that I'm supporting kids having guns at the age of four? And the answer's like, yes, dude, you're supposed to say no. Well, yeah. with the scenario with my friends, they never knew it was him. Really, wow. the whole yes. time. Which is why they were freaked out with what was happening. They were like, wait, what, what's happening here, you know? So um, so I'm excited to see the show. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's, yes, there's a couple, but I mean, they probably did 20 others where abs people had no idea and it's gonna make for great TV. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, we'll see. Yeah. You can see now some of it's available right now on Showtime.